everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Thursday afternoon, September the 3rd, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. Let's go to Saratoga. Saratoga Springs, New York. First race 10, 5.50 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half furlong route test on the inner turf. Phillies and mares, three years old and up. Race for a claiming purse of $32,000. Contenders number nine, Platinum Plus, number one, Possessive, number two, Zeva Zinga, and number six, four, fourth chapter. Number nine, Platinum Plus, is both the speed and pace profile leader in this claiming field. Today, racing at her about eight and a half furlongs on the turf, has produced a trio of power runs in her last five starts, winning in her fifth race back. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer Barclay Tag sent her to the post for the Thursday finale. Today she's whacked the tote board with 64% of more than 50 entries saddled as a team to date. Race 10 summary number 9, Platinum Plus, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 1, Possessive, number 2, Keva Zinga, and number 6, 4th Chapter, 9126, in the 10th today from Saratoga. Go out to Southern California next to the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club for their seventh race on the card today, which is also their feature, 5.02 p.m. Pacific Post Time, for the Daisy Cutter Handicap, five for a long sprint on the turf, fillies and mares, three years old and up, racing for a stakes purse of $85,000. Contenders number two, Reba is tops. Number three, Royal Tot. Number four, Queen of the Castle, and number one, Cake of Bradford. Number two, Reba is tops as the pace profile leader in the stakes field, springing at five furlongs on the turf, has hit the board in power run fashion, and five straight, including a power run win in her second race back. Number three, Royal Todd, a New Zealand bred entry, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last five, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Joel Rosario and trainer John Sadler sent her to the post today. They took the board with 54%, more than 100 entries saddled as a team to date, producing a positive 22% return on investment in the process. Race 7 summary number 2. Reba is tops, tops my contenders list, which, is also, which also includes number 3, Royal Tot, number 4, Queen of the Castle, and number 1, Cape of Bradford, 2341. In the seventh today from Del Mar, the $85,000 Daisy Cutter Handicap. A couple of bonus long shots for you as usual. Let's go to Charlestown first, race two, the eight to one shot. Number nine, Soccer Princess, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last five. She also raced in Erie, Pennsylvania at Presque Isle Downs today as well, race four. Number three, Sugar. Crane, a 5 to 1 shot, takes a big class drop of 15 units, nice early and overall speed for this short 4 and 1 half for a long sprint. So, handicapping from both Saratoga and the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club on a Thursday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.